But we begin tonight with breaking news in the Oxford High School shooting investigation. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office searching the home of the artist who owns the studio where the Crumbleys were found hiding out. That building on Bellevue on Detroit's east side. Police say the couple going there after withdrawing money from an ATM in Rochester Hills. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked is live in Troy tonight outside the artist's home with new information for us. Simon. Carolyn, as soon as detectives finished interviewing Mr. Shakora, we learned, in fact, we were able to verify that a search would be taking place here at his home behind us, and that search was done very quickly. They came and took what they needed, and they left. I'm more on that in just a moment. We'll hear from his attorney live, but attorney Clarence Doss representing artist Andre Shakora sharing a message for the community about the events that came to a head at his studio early Saturday morning on the east side of Detroit. Das says Shakora, a friend of Jennifer and James Crumbly, should not be charged with harboring fugitives because at the time he offered them a place to stay, he was simply unaware they were wanted on charges of involuntary manslaughter for allegedly allowing their son to possess that 9mm handgun used in the mass shooting. He tells us his client did fully cooperate and reached out to them to provide assistance. Again, Shakur is not charged and his attorney is here with us now. Clarence, thanks for taking a moment to speak with us. What more can you tell us took place? What questions was he able to answer for those detectives? Well, we had a very productive conversation and in my opinion, a very friendly conversation. We talked for two hours about his relationship to the Crumbleys, the timeline of events that happened after the unfortunate tragedy, and what happened while charges were announced for them. He's, Mr. Shakur is very confident in his story. I'm very confident in what happened. And I believe that at the end of this, they're going to conclude that they really had no involvement with the Crumbleys. They took some stuff out of the house uh, during this search warrant. What exactly did they take and what can you tell us about that? This was a routine search warrant that I knew about and we voluntarily walked here with them. Uh, but they took a couple iPhones and a couple tablets. The Shakuras don't have really more than that, but I think they just want to dot their I's and cross their T's. And you're saying this is to verify the communications between the Crumbleys and Mr. Shakura and the what, timing. That's what I would imagine, but I also think they want to rule out anything else that could be there. Uh, just as part of their investigation. Okay. Thank you, sir. Clarence, thank you, you for taking time to talk with us. In the meantime, we've also learned 15-year-old accused, ki accused killer Ethan Crumbly has also received new court-appointed counsel based in Rochester. We did reach out to that attorney and are so far waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Troy, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you. Thank you so much for the update from there, Simon.